Welcome back. In our previous video, we solved problem 9-40 and in this video, we are going to solve problem 9-41 that is taken from chapter number 9, Stress Transformation and book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler. So statement is the wide flange beam is subjected to 50 kN load. Determine the principal stresses in the beam at point. Now here it is given that point B located on the web at the top of the bottom flange so you can see this is the cantilever beam that is acted upon by 50 kilo newton load at this end and the cross section of this beam is shown that is i beam so you have to find the principal stresses at the point b located on the web at the top of the bottom flange so you can see this is bottom flange this is top flange this is web so you have to find the principal stresses at point b clear that is sigma 1 and sigma 2. So let's start with the solution. So first step is that uh, we are going to find out the uh, state of stress at point A. So for that we will cut the beam at point B or at this section AA clear and draw the free body diagram. So it will be like this. Clear this is point where you have a point load of 50 kN. Clear this length which is given as 3 meter so when you cut it at section AA clear this is section AA so you will be having a shear force in upward direction which is equal to V and you will be having a movement like this so you find we will find this movement and shear force so far shear force we will apply the sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive so two forces one is v and 50 is acting so v is upward so it will be positive minus 50 is downward their sum must be equal to zero so it means that this shear force is equal to 50 kilo newton now we'll find this movement. So for movement, we'll apply sum of all movement about section AA must be equal to zero, taking the counterclockwise movement as positive. So about this section AA, the one movement is due to this 50 kN load into perpendicular distance is three, and this is producing clockwise, so it will be negative. The second movement is this external movement, which is uh, counterclockwise, so it will be positive. So their sum must be equal to zero. So I will write m minus 50 into 3 is equal to 0. So from here this movement will be equal to this movement will be equal to 150 kilonewton into meter. Now you can see that here we have one shear force that is acting upward clear which is V and we have a movement which is counterclockwise. So due to this movement this is let this is x axis this is its y axis clear and this is the z axis so you can see this movement will be about z axis this movement and the shear force that is acting downward will be in y direction so due to this movement the normal stress will be generated or bending stress will be generated in this x direction which is sigma x Clear? So we'll find this sigma x and due to this shear force, we will be having a shear force. So what we will do is that we will find this uh, sigma x, which is generally at, we are calculating at B and due to shear force V, we will have shear stress. And since we are at finding at B, so we will find this. So we know that sigma x are sigma at point b bending stress due to bending movement is equal to movement into y divided by i clear so movement is 150 kilo newton into meter so what is y so y is again this symmetrical beam if you um, if you take the mid of this mid axis of this beam so y is distance from neutral axis till this point b this is equal to y and this y is downward so it will be negative and it will be equal to minus 250 divided by 2 which is equal to minus 0 0.125 meter it will be equal to 1 
ट्वेंटी फाइव मिली मीटर सो इन मीटर इट विल बी इक्वल टू दिस वन एंड वट अबाउट आई सो वी विल फाइंड आई विच इज सेक्शन प्रॉपर्टी एंड दैट इज इक्वल टू वन ओवर ट्वेल्व बी एच क्यूब सो बी इज दिस टू हंड्रेड एंड एच इज इक्वल टू दिस टोटल इज टू सेवेंटी फोर सो वी विल टेक दिस होल बॉक्स एंड वी विल फाइंड द मूवमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया अबाउट दिस एक्सिस एंड देन वी विल सब्ट्रैक द मूवमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया ऑफ दिस रिमेनिंग टू सो इट विल गिव यू द मूवमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया ऑफ दिस शेडेड पोर्शन सो वन ओवर टू बी इज टू हंड्रेड मिलीमीटर विच इज इन मीटर इज जीरो पॉइंट टू जीरो जीरो एंड हाइट इज टू सेवेंटी फोर विच इज जीरो पॉइंट टू सेवन फोर माइनस टू टाइम्स वन ओवर ट्वेल्व B is this B is equal to ninety five. You can see this is two hundred. So two hundred minus ten will be equal to one ninety, and one ninety divided by two is ninety five millimeter, which is zero point zero nine five. Okay. And uh, height is two hundred fifty. So it is equal to zero point two five zero whole cube. Now when you solve this. You will get the moment of inertia comes out to be ninety five point four five one two three into ten is to power minus six meter power four. Now you have all the values. You can find sigma b is equal to m into y b divided by i. So moment is given as one fifty kilo newton. So one fifty into ten is to power three y b is minus zero point one two five. Clear. Divide by I, which is ninety five point four five one two three into ten to the power minus six. So when you solve this, you will get this sigma b comes out to be minus one ninety six point four three mega pascal. So this is the normal stress uh, or bending stress due to bending moment. Now we will find the shear stress at point B, which is equal to V Q B divided by I into T. So we have shear force V is given as fifty kilo newton. Clear. I is again we have calculated ninety five point four five one two three into ten to the power minus six. T is equal to you can see this is the thickness. Let me show you. This is point B. So thickness is ten millimeter, and this ten millimeter is equal to zero point zero one zero meter. And what about Q B? So Q B will be equal to Y dash bar into A. And what is Y dash bar? And what is A? So A is this area. This is the A. And this area is equal to 200 millimeter, which is 0.2 into thickness is 12 millimeter, which is 0.012. Clear? And what is y dash bar? So y dash bar is distance from neutral axis till the mid of this section. This is y dash bar. And that is equal to this distance is 125 plus this. Twelve divided by two is six, so one twenty-five plus six is equal to one thirty-one millimeter, and this y dash bar in meter is zero point one three one meter. So I will write y dash bar is zero point one three one meter, and a dash is zero point two double zero into thickness is zero point zero one two. Okay. That is equal to Q B, and when you solve this, this will be equal to zero point three one double four into ten to the power minus three cubic meter. Now you have all the values. You can just put it, so you will get shear stress at point B is equal to shear force, which is fifty kilo newton, so fifty into ten to the power three multiplied by Q B is zero point three one double four into ten to the power minus three divided by I, which is ninety five point four five one two three into ten to the power minus six into T is zero point zero one zero. So when you calculate it, you will get shearing stress at point B comes out to be sixteen point four seven mega pascal. Okay. 
now if we draw the state of stress at point b so let this is state of stress this is the element there so you will having a in x direction you will have sigma b is negative so it will be compressive clear this is sigma b which you can see that is minus 196.43 and you will be having a shear stress which is 16.47 so it will be like this this is shearing stress at point b similarly over this face it will be downward and this will be like this now you can see you have sigma x here is equal to my sigma b which is equal to minus 196.43 megapascal sigma y here is not available so it will be equal to zero and tau of x y which is equal to shear stress at point b is equal to 16.47 um, megapascal now principal stresses we have to calculate principal stresses and these principal stresses are the maximum stresses which is equal to sigma 1 and sigma 2 and we know that sigma 1 comma 2 is equal to sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 plus minus under the root sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 whole square plus tau of x y whole square now just put the value sigma 1 comma 2 is equal to minus 196.43 plus 0 divided by 2 plus minus under the root minus 196.43 minus 0 divided by 2 whole square plus 16.47 whole square and all these are under the root so far sigma 1 is equal to it will be equal to minus 196.43 divided by 2 plus this uh, 196.43 divided by 2 whole square plus 16.47 whole square and when you calculate it will be equal to 1.37 mega pascal Similarly, you can find sigma 2 which is equal to minus 196.43 divided by 2 minus minus 196.43 divided by 2 whole square plus 16.47 whole square under the root. And when you calculate it, it will be equal to minus 198 mega pascal. So according to this sigma 1 is 1.37 mega pascal and sigma 2 is equal to minus 198 mega pascal so these are the principal stresses that is acting at point b due to the given loading and that was all about this problem 9-41 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos. If you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.